18 year old Garen. I just want to say first of all how proud I am of you. I don't know if that's a thing you hear a lot, I don't know if that's a thing you believe a lot because you don't seem to believe a lot about the goodness of yourself but I just want to say that I'm so proud of you. The past mm, year and a half have been tough. They have, I know. I remember I was there. But I just want to say I think you're brilliant and brave and strong for dealing with everything that's happened to you and everything that you've inflicted upon yourself really. Hindsight is always twenty twenty. So looking back, I have some things that I would say to you. These are the things I would say to you if I had a TARDIS at my disposal. I want to tell you that it's okay to be brave and it's okay to be blunt. I want you to fight more. I know it feels impossible with where you are at the moment and what you've been through but it is okay to be honest about how you feel. It is okay to be honest if people have hurt you. It is okay to be honest if you're hurting and you want to unload that and be open about that. It's okay. Fight more. Fight with people who hurt you. Fight your friends even though you love them. Fight your parents even though you love them. Fight school because it's terrible. Fight your teachers. Fight for you. Your parents and your friends love you. They do. But they want what's best for you and that's not necessarily the same as knowing what's best for you. And I have had the privilege of knowing you and I know that you have a very strong sense of self and a very strong sense of who you want to be and where you want to be. So fight for that. Don't be afraid to fight for that. On the note of knowing who you are, I've noticed that you always have such high standards for romance, you have such high standards for boys. You like them to be sensitive and smell really nice and be super hot. But they're always these unattainable kind of fantasy creatures who are really removed from you. I'm not going to give you any spoilers because, you know, you know what they say about time travel, terrible things happening to wizards who meddle with time. But just take a long, hard look at why your standards are that high and why the boys are never near you. I just want to say that. Nothing more. Say yes to things more even if they're things you think your parents would tell you off for. Opportunities often only come by once. Read more, read loads, read everything. Read plays, read critical essays, read the boring classics that you know you should read but haven't read yet. Um, read more stuff about black feminism, read stuff written by black women, read stuff written by mentally ill women, um, read everything. I know you're reading a lot of fan fiction right now, which um, helps with escaping your own head, helps with escaping your life, but um, it's a short term pleasure rather than being something that's good for you in the long term. If you read loads now, you won't have to spend so much time catching up and you'll know exactly what you want to do when you get to writing about literature critically. Which brings me on to my next point please do a dissertation. That means absolutely nothing to you now as an 18 year old. It will mean everything to you as a 21 year old. You don't need that course on poetry, trust me. And if you're afraid about starting late, let me tell you something. Starting late is way, way, way better than never starting at all. Keep writing. At one point, your mum said that She'd never actually seen ev any evidence that you wanted to write. And to be completely fair, she had a point. She'd never seen your work, she'd never read it. So keep writing. Keep writing if it makes you afraid. Keep writing if it makes you uncomfortable. Keep writing if it makes you vulnerable. Especially if it makes you vulnerable because then you know you're on the right path. Because what is important to you and what's important about your writing is that it's honest. Even if the things happening in it aren't necessarily real, that is the advice I would give to you to keep writing because you can only get better. You can only get better if you practice. Keep up with your German. 
most boring, boring advice ever. But again, mental muscles, if you don't use them, they're gonna die and then you're gonna have to start from scratch a few years later and wonder why on earth you didn't keep up with something you spent four years studying. Watch more makeup tutorials. I know that sounds ridiculous given where you are and how you feel right now. It sounds really frivolous and trivial. I promise it's not. Makeup will make you feel better, not because you think you look better or because you're more appealing to people, but because it offers the opportunity for transformation. You can change your face. And honestly, colour is a thing that makes you feel good. In a pure kind of aesthetic sense, the colour red makes you feel good. The colour green makes you feel good. So better if it has sparkles or it's a different texture. Get into makeup early. Stop being afraid of eyeshadow. You'll find Jermaine Greer really, really annoying and you won't quite be able to articulate why. I can having hindsight and experience and I can tell you for free that Jermaine Greer's writing is racist, it's transphobic, it's actually kind of boring so please put down the whole woman, give it away, throw it away, whatever you have to do to get rid of it, get rid of it. Pick up some bell hooks, educate yourself, get started early. You have to learn not to internalise other people's perceptions of you and not be swallowed up by other people's ideas of who you are, what you like, what your future is going to be like. Remember who you are and hold on to that. On the other hand, if someone looks you in the eye, takes your hand and tells you that you are beautiful, believe them because it's true. And it says something good about how they feel about you. And it says something about good, good about you. So please take that on board. Again, don't be afraid. It's the most annoying thing to hear that. It's so trite, I know. And it's really, it's probably really annoying for you to hear don't be afraid when you're on the precipice of so much. Your entire future is yawning ahead of you like this big abyss, this hole. You don't know what is gonna happen. You don't know where you're gonna be a year from now. But I promise that Fighting through the fear and not cowering at the first sign of difficulty or struggle will make you so much better as a person. Don't be afraid to start things again. You are currently beleaguered by this idea that you have to see every single thing through to the end. And if those things aren't good for you, then what's the point in continuing? Don't be afraid to scrap things and start again. Experiment with everything you possibly can. Experiment with your clothes, your hair, your makeup, people, books, writing styles, films, places, experiences. You never stop learning, but you are at a point in your life where learning and being weird and wild is encouraged and I would advise you to make the best of that. You have tons of free time at the moment so please ignore your parents and go out into the world and meet different kinds of people, talk to different kinds of people, make friends with all those people. All the horror stories about certain groups you hear are not true, I promise. You don't know everything and you never will. The sooner you make peace with that, the better. I love you, Garen. Be brave, be bold, be honest.